The cat goes meow, the cow goes moo, and the dog goes woof, bark, growl, and of course, bow wow. For animals that can't speak, dogs are surprisingly good at communicating and vocalizing their needs. Who says all communication has to be in a language you understand? If you've been a pet parent to a pupper for a while, you'd know that there's a different way to communicate with your pet. While most people might not understand how the two of you communicate, you've spent a fair share of time with your pet, plus trial and error, to know what a loud bark means, what a whimper indicates, and what lies behind a growl. Don't worry, you don't have to spend years with a dog to know exactly what they mean with their sounds, because in today's video, we're looking at 10 dog sounds and decoding what they mean. Let's get right into it. Number 10. High-pitched barking. All dogs bark, and you'd think that they all tend to bark in the same language. However, there are various kinds of barking. Barking for dogs is a lot like yelling is for humans. They're trying to get someone's attention, or you're trying to find the best way to express yourself. If your dog has been barking in a high-pitched tone for some time, which only seems to be getting higher and higher, it means that they're in distress. Dogs with separation anxiety often tend to bark this way when you're leaving the house. You might even hear their barks continuing way into the driveway. Some dogs tend to bark in situations or environments where there are particular triggers for them, like strangers, bright lights, noises, and such. As their pet parents, it's your responsibility to identify their barks, their triggers, and then either alleviate the issue or remove your puppy from a stressful environment entirely. Remember, they're barking in a high-pitched tone to get you to help them. Number 9. Sharp, repetitive barks. True to what we assume barking is, sharp, repetitive barks are indicative of your dog trying to get something to your attention. You might have heard your dog barking sharply at the mailman or at other dogs that are coming into your yard, rather their yard. Dogs bark sharply usually to assert dominance or to indicate that someone is encroaching on their space and that they're not taking kindly to it. But it's important to understand that not all sharp barking is bad. Sometimes your dog will bark at your friends just because they aren't familiar with that person. Over time, they get used to that person and then stop barking at them. Maybe they'll never stop barking at the postman, though. Number 8. Monotonous Barks Experts recommend keeping your dogs active all throughout the day. You need to keep your pet stimulated or else they'll get bored. And what happens when they get bored? They'll bark at you. Now, barking when bored is a lot different than barking in stressful situations. When they're bored, pets tend to bark in a monotonous way. This means that they'll bark just loudly enough to get your attention, but not loud enough to indicate anger or distress. Monotonous, really. What do you do? You get up, grab a frisbee, and go outside to play with your pet. Number 7. Howling The human race has been domesticating animals for centuries at this point, but you can't take away every ancestral aspect from pets. In this case, you can't take the wolf out of the dog, even if the dog is a chihuahua. Dogs tend to howl either in anger or in pursuit of prey. When your dog is howling, they're channeling their ancestral wolf instincts. This is most notably seen when they're in the presence of another dog, usually a smaller one, and are trying to establish dominance. Or when they're in the presence of a cat or any other animal they see encroaching on their territory. Number 6. Growling While Playing How often have you heard your dog growl while playing? Let's take an example here. You're playing a game of tug with your pet, and they start to growl at you. You think they're growling because they're annoyed and you let go of the toy. But when your pet comes up to you again and hands you the toy back, seemingly wanting you to continue on with the game, then why do they bark? Well, contrary to a popular notion, dogs don't always growl when they're angry. Sure, they do growl to indicate frustration, but they also growl when they're having fun. From the meanest-looking Rottweilers to the tiniest Shih Tzus, all dogs tend to let out a low growl when they're playing around. Number 5. Hostile Growl It's pretty easy to spot an angry pet, 
they take a dominant stance, arch their backs, and stiffen their bodies. While there are several ways to communicate with pets, you should never rely on one language as per se. For example, in addition to recognizing the sounds they make, you should also notice their body language, their tail language, and draw clues from their surroundings. A hostile growl means exactly what you think it does. They're angry. However, they may not be angry at you particularly. Instead of admonishing your pet for being hostile, maybe take a look around and try to identify what it is that's making them growl. Then alleviate the trigger, or if it's growling at something that's harmless, vacuum cleaners, microwaves, and such, try to train your dog to see that these objects are harmless. Number four, low whimpering. Puppies whimper because that's the only sound they know how to make. But what if your adult dog is whimpering? Low whimpering is often a sign of distress or pain. Your dog might approach you while whimpering and lie down next to you. They're trying to get your attention, but they're in too much pain and are a little too exhausted to tell you exactly where to look. It's up to you to examine your pet all over when it comes up to you while whimpering. Number three, continuous whimpering. Are all whimpers scary? No, quite the contrary. If your pet comes up to you while whimpering, but in a seemingly cheery mood, then there's nothing to worry about. They're just really excited to see you. Continuous whimpering is often seen in puppies who aren't able to make a lot of sounds yet. They might whimper when they see you coming and would run towards you while making those sounds. Again, it's nothing to worry about. The only time you should be concerned about a whimpering dog is when there are obvious signs of distress or when your pet appears exhausted. Number two, whining. What are you trying to indicate when you whine? Probably annoyance, stress, or just want attention. It's pretty much the same for pets. Whining, which is just high-pitched vocalization, is used to indicate that your pet is bored or wants you to give it attention. Your pet might even whine after you've been cross with it over something. Pets, especially dogs, are remarkably well apt and adapted to signals. They'll know when you're mad at them and will probably whine to get you to forgive them. The classic puppy dog eyes trick. A whining dog, unless displaying any signs of distress, is a pet that's just annoyed or wants attention. Interestingly enough, some experts suggest that the whole reason animals make sounds at all is to mimic humans in the best way they can. They probably ascribe the tone of your voice in different situations and are trying to mimic that tone, even if they can't articulate the words. Number one, panting. Panting or audible breathing is indicative of several things. Heavy panting might show overheating, low panting shows excitement, and loud panting might indicate either excitement or pain. If your dog is panting, try to look around the room or the area your pet is in and identify what could be making it pant. Is there a dog in the vicinity? Is the dog a big one or a small one compared to yours? Is your pet afraid of that dog or is it excited to see it? This is just one possible scenario of many. Panting could mean several different things. And as a responsible pet parent, you need to be on your toes when your pet comes up to you and is making any sounds. Because it's important to remember that any sounds made by a dog are all in some way to get your attention. All right, do you think your dog understands you? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Inforama for more. We'll see you in the next one.